How's it going folks? Carlton, your Cutco guy here, and I'm going to make you some guacamole today. What we're going to do is make you a recipe, fix it all up for you, and make sure you get everything together. So number one, what you're going to need is a couple things as far as knives are concerned. Number one, you're going to need your 5 inch Santoku, that is Petite Santoku, or the ladies knife. Definitely want that one, and this is going to be your bachelor spreader, okay, or the spatula spreader. So the ingredients you're going to need for your guacamole, again, <laughs> this is going to be spicy, so if, you, if it's too spicy for the sissies, just be careful, okay? I will warn you, it's going to be really good. So, number one, you're going to need one champagne tomato. Get these from Sprouts, half a jalapeno, one clove of garlic, six to eight sprigs of cilantro, one Haas avocado. You need one of these bad babies. The Mexican avocados are really good. Then we're going to get some lemon to squeeze into our guacamole, some black pepper, and salt. Okay, so first things first, we're going to get to chopping our, ve our veggies up here for ingredients. First thing we're going to do is the cilantro. What you want to do whenever you chop up your cilantro, get it real tight. Just crunch it up a couple of times. Get it real tight in your hands. Keep your hands down here. When you do your chopping, just get it real fine, real easy. Keep your fingers held down so you don't cut the fingers and knives are sharp, for real. All right. Get it all diced up. You want it nice and minced. We're going to be mincing the cilantro. We're going to mince our garlic. We're going to mince our tomato. And what you want to do here is just rock forward as you get your five inch going here. Get it nice and minced up. Next, we're going to take our jalapeno. If you don't want it too spicy, some I understand some people want to get it done like that. What you want to do is take the tip of the knife here, get the core out, just like here. Cut it in a V shape to get the core out. Simply just remove that bad baby if that's what you want to do. However, that ain't how I roll. We're gonna get the, <laughs> we're gonna get the seeds in there. We want it spicy. We like it spicy. So chop up your Jalapeno here, same thing, we're just going to mince him up real nice, real easy. The five inch ladies knife, get the ladies work right here. Next we're going to get our garlic, mince our garlic. Taking what you want to do is just hold the knife down, okay, knock that bad boy down one good time. Kale it. Then you're going to mince up your garlic. Here we go. Five inch doing work. You know, I like those fat pieces of garlic. I like to get that garlic in there. Get the stuff nice and minced up now. That's why we want it. And we're going to notice too, folks, whenever you pick an avocado for your guacamole. How a avocado ripens is from the bottom. So when you go to pick your avocados, you know it's too ripe if it's too hard. And as it gets soft from the bottom, is what you want to feel for whenever you're at the grocery store. Okay? Now, next we're going to mince our tomato. Give it a couple slices here. Chop them up a couple good times. This is going to be great for your springtime parties going into the summertime. Okay. Next, we're going to take our spatula, bachelor spreader. Take, cut. What you want to do is just twist that avocado. Pops right open, okay? Get that pit out. What I like to just twist, okay? You can always take a spoon, makes it real easy. Scoop the avocado into your bowl here, okay? Here we go. 
Again, um, one of the things you can do to make, make sure your avocado ripens a little quicker if you get them too hard at whatever grocery store you're getting them, just put it in the fridge overnight and it should ripen a little faster than if you just leave it out. Room temperature, okay? We're gonna do now take your ingredients that we've minced up here, throw them right into your bowl. Scoop them bad babies right on in there. That's what we want, okay? Now, the finishing touches and a secret ingredient is coming that I didn't mention. I'm gonna take your lemon, squeeze your lemon right on in there, okay? Get your salt going. Avocados eat salt, so don't be scared of the salt, all right? Throw some of that in there. We're gonna take black pepper, some black pepper in that bad baby last but not least this is a secret ingredient right here your sriracha sauce be generous with the sriracha sauce it's nice I'm trying to tell you right now this is what's gonna kill the guacamole it's gonna murder it you're gonna love it I'm trying to tell you right now it's crazy take take your fork here if you want to take a wish you can do that mix it all together I know I like my, my guacamole grilled chunky. It's, it's delicious that way. Make sure you're getting some of this action right here. The cameraman's about to get it good right there, boy. Uh. Cameraman getting it for us. Folks, you are now finished. You got yourself some simple guacamole. It's done. Now all you need is your favorite chips. I get these from Sprouts. Get your fresh multi-grain. Little you know, cracker chip, it's not, it's not fried, it's baked. This is how we do it. So that's it, you've got simple guacamole. Enjoy your springtime dish for the next party you throw for the summertime. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you on the next one.